Hello my dear students, now welcome back once again online classes. This is the Kibutta Yadim's faculty, RC School Pass. So my dear students, now we are here once again with a new topic that's called models. Models, what is the model? Model is which presents and which shows our mood. mood okay. So that's a very simple thing. Should. I have written the first topic, should. Should means chahiye. Okay. And in English, you can say it is used for giving advice. When you are giving advice to anyone that um, you should go to school every day, you should know to take tea, you should take milk every day, a glass of milk every day. This type of advice which is given by anyone that is called a should. Okay. So here is the second rule subject plus should plus first form of the verb. Okay. It's means a simple verb plus the first form of the verb is should with the subject. Here, how you they, he, and he, she, it, may, who, this subject will be used with the should. This all subject will be used with should. Okay. So, here we have a very interesting thing that, uh, uh, that we are going to understand about should or should means advice. I have told you before. So, advice, how can we, how can we represent the use of should? Exactly. Uh, I have given some example before when I start the class. Exactly this thing like that. Uh, if I will say you, you should study at home. Okay. You should watch video till end. You should do your homework, you should complete your exercise. These types of examples we can use as a should. Let's see some example. Okay. Suppose I have an example like uh, you should play for some time. Okay. First example uh, you should play. For some time. Okay, my dear. Next. She should not go to outside at the time. Why should you not study? Why should you not study? Okay, next. He should he should talk to his father. Okay, my addition. So similarly, we can uh, similarly we can create more example. We can write. We can understand. We can speak more example for making understand. And should is a very important thing and very interesting chapter. You can use and daily uses and daily uh, telling in, in your daily behavior when you are talking to anyone in English or with, and when you are going to conversation with anyone. Okay, my dear students, so that was completed with the show. We will meet with the new chapter, with the new exercise in the next video. Till then, thank you.